lovely people! In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this Christmas makeup look. I don't really want to call this look Christmas makeup because it's just a very glam makeup look that you can wear any time of the year for any kind of occasion. I think it's better to say that it's Christmas inspired because for me, when I think of Christmas, I think of red, green, gold and a lot of sparkles, a lot of shimmers, a lot of glitters, right? You can definitely add some gold glitters here if you want on your eyelids. I just thought that if I added glitters, that would make it even more intense. So that's why I decided to skip them. I added some shimmers. Now that I think about it, I haven't worn glitters on my eyes for so long. It's been months. In my next video, I promise there will be a glitter storm, so get ready for it. I wear red lipstick probably two or three times a year, and every time that I do, I'm like, I need to be wearing red lipstick more often. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy watching. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to prime my face with the Laura Mercier foundation primer. Then for my foundation, I'm gonna go with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation in the shade 150. I love that foundation. I love the finish, I love the coverage, I love everything about it. No, that's not true. I don't like the scent. <laughs> I think that if it didn't have any scent, it would be so much better, but yeah. It looks so pretty on my skin. Guys, <laughs> my bun looks like poop. You know that poop emoji? It looks exactly the same. Honestly, I don't know how I did it. Don't ask for hair tutorial. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on with the makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead now and fill in my brows. I'm using the BH Cosmetics Brow Powder Duo in the shade Dark Brown. So I'm just really quickly going to fill in my brows and then I'll clean the bottom part with some concealer so that they can look more crisp, more sharp, more defined. And then to finish them up, I'm gonna use some brow gel. This one is by Hourglass. Um, the shade that I'm using is Soft Brunette. Woo, it's a good eyebrow day. Oh, they look intense. I love it. I'm gonna take that same concealer that I used to clean my brows. It's the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I'm using the shade White. And I'm gonna bring it all over my eyelids um, just as an eyeshadow primer. If you have more oily eyelids or you find that your eyeshadows are creasing throughout the day, use an eyeshadow primer instead of concealer concealer works great for me i don't really have oily eyelids i mean mine are pretty dry most of the times <laughs> it's the same thing for me if i use concealer or eyeshadow primer i see no difference i like the coverage that the concealer gives me it creates very nice smooth base for the eyeshadows okay now i'm gonna take my eyeshadow palette that i'm gonna use today this is the Too faced natural lust palette and i'm gonna take the shade buff it out this one oh Hi camera, okay. I'm gonna take the shade, buff it out, and I'm gonna set my concealer with it. All right, all nice and primed, and we're ready to jump into the fun part. So, for this step, you can use an eye pencil, gel eyeliner. I'm gonna use a gel eyeliner for this. Let me find where I put it. Here, this one, the Sigma gel eyeliner in the shade Wicked. I mean, it's just a black, gel eyeliner i'm gonna take this really tiny brush look how cute it is it's so so tiny it's the sigma e21 so adorable i can't i'm gonna take a little bit of that gel eyeliner just a tiny little bit now you want to be very careful with this step i'm gonna place this very closely to my lower lashes just keeping it in the outer third of my lower lash line and then i'm extending it like a wing of an eyeliner which is pointing towards the tail of my brow all right you want to have something like this right it looks a little bit crazy but i kind of like it <laughs> now take a little bit more of that gel eyeliner or eye pencil whatever you're using you're gonna bring it in the outer corner of your eye following that guideline that you just created and you're gonna blend it towards the center of your eyelid just make sure that you don't bring it over your crease and diffuse any harsh lines that you see. And I'm using my finger, I'm not trying to be fancy here. I mean, as long as it does the job, who cares? 
you can blend eyeshadows with your fingers and you should not feel like you're doing something wrong. I love applying eyeshadows with my fingers, especially shimmery eyeshadows or metallic eyeshadows or glittery eyeshadows. Okay, so this is what you want to have. I know that it looks messy, but you don't need to worry about that. Now I'll take a nice flat brush and I'll pick the color Call Me Back from that Too Faced Natural Lust palette and placing it right in the center of my eyelid. Now switching to a smaller brush, this is the Morphe Y22. I'm taking the shade Set in Stone, placing it right between that color that I just applied in the center of my eyelid and the black gel eyeliner. Now taking the black eyeshadow from that Too Faced palette and I'm placing it on top of that black gel eyeliner that I applied. Okay. Now you want to take Call Me Back again and diffuse everything into your crease. See that harsh line that we have here? This is exactly what we want to blend out. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that black eyeshadow to bring back the intensity. And you can really now take your time and add more of those brown eyeshadows. Spend some time bringing back the intensity of those eyeshadows. Add a little bit more, blend a little bit more, you know, take your time to add more of those colors and diffuse them, blend them out. Using black eyeshadows always makes everything a little bit more complicated, so you just need to spend some extra time as I said, blending and applying some more. I know that this technique might be a little bit more complicated. It's not my favorite, but I love how it looks at the end. I think I did it one more time on camera with that purple look that I did a few videos ago. I mean, it looks so nice, but it's, it's a little bit more... I don't want to say advanced, because you can practice and achieve everything. But if you're a beginner, it might seem that it requires a little bit more time and it involves more steps. I think that the most confusing part is how you blend those eyeshadows in the crease. Like, yeah, you already have them on your eyelid, but how you bring them in your crease. You need a brush like this one. You don't need to get this particular one, but you need to have something which is more small, more precise, but not really dense. You want a blending brush which is smaller so that you don't bring all of that all the way up to your brow. So remember that harsh line that we had here, right? You want to take one of those brushes and start diffusing it. Small circular motions, you know, just blending, blending, blending. And you can add some eyeshadow on that brush to diffuse that harsh line easier and quicker. But I think that what will really help is once you're done blending with this small brush, get a bigger blending brush. Again, you don't need this particular one. You can work with whatever you have. I don't want you to feel like you need all of those brushes. You don't. As I showed you at the beginning, you can also blend it with your finger. I'm just talking about details here, right? So yeah, once you're done blending with the little brush, take a bigger one and diffuse everything. I really hope that this brush is clean. <laughs> if it's not, it will be a disaster. But yeah, just take a big fluffy brush and go over everything that is going on in your crease. That will just give you that very nice fading effect. Now, should we add shimmers? Should we not? I don't know. I know what I want, but should I do it? Before I move on with any shimmers and any of those good stuff, let me clean up this edge here. I'm gonna be honest, this is not how I wanted this look to come out. It's a little bit more intense than how I had it in my mind, but I know how to fix that. The solution is called shimmers. Shimmers everywhere. So I have this product here by Tarte. Why does it smell so good? It smells like caramel popcorn. Oh, mm, I love it. I'm gonna get some glitter glue. Too Faced glitter glue. I'm gonna apply this on my eyes using my fingers. And then some of this. Oh, wow! Did I mention that I've never used that before? Yeah, I've never used that before. I'm gonna take that little small blending brush that I used and see this harsh line here. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of it.
Boom. Now that's a Christmas look. By the way, if you don't have this, this is actually a highlighter. Can you believe that? But if you don't have it, you can also use this eyeshadow from that Too Faced palette. It's super, super similar. I'm gonna use some color corrector under my eyes just to neutralize that blue color that I have under my eyes. For concealer, I'm gonna go with the Huda Beauty, the Overachiever Concealer in Cotton Candy. Now, on my lower lash line, I'm gonna add some black eyeshadow on top of that gel eyeliner that I applied at the beginning. And then I'll also smudge in the center of my lower lash line some of the eyeshadow code Set in Stone from that Too Faced palette. And that's going to be pretty much all for the lower lash line. I'm also adding a pair of lashes. These are the House of Lashes Serene double i think that the way that i did my eye makeup today was a little bit confusing i've been trying out this technique lately of applying something as a guideline in the outer corner of the eye and then slowly building up the rest of the the eye look but i don't think that it's my thing like i could do this look differently where it would have been a lot easier to understand and do so if i was a little bit confusing I'm so sorry about that. I'm gonna get some powder and set my under eye. I'm gonna use this Becca Hydro Mist Set and Refresh Powder. So, how do you guys plan on spending the holidays? I'm gonna probably spend it with my boyfriend's family since we're here in Greece. I feel like this year is going to be just a little bit more chill for me. We don't plan on doing some crazy celebrations. You know, it's going to be just some family time and that's all. Now I'm gonna add some blush. This is the Sigma Blush Cheek Palette. I'm gonna mix these two colors here. Wow, this look came out so much more intense than I wanted. <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing a red lipstick today. I don't usually do that, um, but hold on. I'm forgetting something. Highlighter. This one here, the Nabla Skin Glazing in the shade Ozone. Can't believe I almost forgot to apply highlighter. Like, how? <laughs> By the way, it's not crazy if you wanna skip highlighter, especially if you have more textured skin. I have some bumps, some pimples, some imperfections in the areas where I'm applying my highlighter, which makes them look a lot more noticeable, but it doesn't really bother me. I mean, I like that my skin looks more glowy, but if you don't want to exaggerate the texture of your skin, just skip the highlighter. Go with more matte products. Okay, so we're done with the eye makeup, we're done with the face makeup, all we have left are the lips. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. So, Fenty Beauty, Uncensored Lipstick. I fixed my bun. I tried, you know, I think it looks better than before. I also put on some earrings. They're matching the lipstick. I'm loving this look. It looks nice. I think that I should add some pencil in my waterline, something to brighten up my eyes a little bit more. By the way, all the products that I used in today's video will be listed down in the description box. So if I didn't mention something, it will be listed down there. I always make sure that my description box is very detailed, very full with the information anyways hope you guys like how this look came out i'm loving it so much if i could go back in time i would definitely use a different technique to do it i feel like this one was a little bit more complicated so yeah i usually don't do my makeup this way so if i was a little bit confusing again i'm so sorry about that but i love the end result so hope your holidays are absolutely wonderful if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel go ahead and do it now hit that red subscribe button which is also matching with my lipstick and always press the bell button which is right next to it because that way you will get a notification every time i post a new video i'm also on instagram facebook twitter so if you want to follow me on there Go ahead and do it. It's free. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!